Okay, so this video here is uh, lesson number, I think we're on number seven, and this particular one here is a uh, ornament. We're going to go over this one, the kind that you would cut on the front, paint it silver, and then the back, paint it red or something like that, or whatever colors you chose. We're not going to do this one because that's going to require rastering, rastering, which we'll do on a next video. So let's do this one here or anything that's like this, okay? So... Well, let's go in here and I'm going to call it ornament and make sure that you always name your files and you would put this, your name here, and then your period number here. Okay. Um, I always tell you that so that you learn to name your files. Otherwise, everything is untitled one, untitled two, untitled three, untitled four. And you're going to just lose track. You're never going to find what you're looking for when you're trying to find something again. Uh, it's super good practice to do this. All right. Um, now here's our workspace. And I will tell you this right off the bat that I do have these really nice ornament boxes. They are uh, four inches uh, by, and let me unlock this task. Once again, uh, to learn about this, if I change this, you see the right, left and right, or horizontal is four inches. If I change this to four inches, then this changes back. If I change this to four inches, we will just do this forever. We have to, if I want both of these to be four, I have to unlock that ratio and then I can change them both to four. So I have these boxes that are about this big, meaning we can make ornaments that, you know, are about this big to fit in here, you know? Um, so how would you do that? Um, first off, um, we want to build an outer circle. Um, and this is pretty much basics of most of your ornaments here that we do in the class. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a 3.8 by a 3.8. I do like to leave a little room for, uh, you know, the edges and stuff like that. And I have a little lump coming out and whatnot, which you'll see in a minute. Um, then I'm going to do another circle. And this one will be uh, 3 point and the other one was 3.8, so I'll do this 3.6, I think. I can always change that if I don't like the way it looks. And this will be the inner circle, which you'll see just shortly right here, okay? Uh, by the way, uh, that does not look even, so I must have done something wrong. Oh, there it is right here, 3.6. There we go. So three points, uh, this outer one is 3.8, and this one is 3.6. So... Um, that's 0.2 difference. That means that this thickness is 0 0.1, 0 0.1 over here and 0 0.1 over here total, right? And then uh, we need the little hook uh, that you're going to, this thing up here, you need something like that. And it's not super important how you do it, uh, but um, you can either do a three point, I would just probably do an ellipse of some sort like this maybe like that, like this, and then lay on it. See if you want it this big. That might be, be too big. Oops, control Z. And um, it, it, this is really eyeballing it and you'll get a good practice of it later. Um, so I'm gonna do this. And by the way, did you notice I'm not using red? That's fine, I can convert it all to red later. So it's not a big deal. Um, so we're gonna go here and do the, no, here. The third one down go to virtual segment delete and uh let's uh let's delete that and let's delete that let's delete that and let's delete oh not the whole thing just that line there we go so now you see i have uh, this thing by the way i'm gonna undo this if you want to make sure this is perfectly right down the center and i don't think i did do that how would i do that well uh Look at this circle right here, this inner circle. Let's make sure that the uh, X is a nice even number. It's almost 14, so let's go 14. And let's do this one 14. And uh, let's make this an even 12. Why not? We'll do the same thing here, where this is an even 12. There, it's all perfect. Now remember the X, Y, sorry, the X graph is 14. So let's make sure that that is 14 as well. And now we know that it is right down the center, okay? Um, there's other ways you can do that. I mean, I guess if you could do a two-point line, 
remember it's too smooth like this so hold shift and then when you hold shift it locks into like 15 degree angles if you notice that otherwise it's loose and it's hard to make sure it's perfectly straight so you can go like that like that and if you wanted to you want to check alignments there's nothing wrong with that to watch to look at symmetry you know and there's nothing wrong with looking at symmetry in that way so I'm gonna go ahead and do delete and I'm gonna do delete that delete that delete that and delete that and uh, we do need a hole to put some string so I always notice that a quarter inch hole is way more than enough I mean well I'm not gonna say way more than enough but it's plenty um, you probably don't want to go smaller than 0 0.18 0 0.15 but a quarter of an inch is more than enough to put some string through and this says that's the center I'll believe it and it does look good so there we go so if I turn this to red it'll cut that out and I already have something ornament looking right if we want to do what uh, this one says here we're gonna need to put a name uh, so we'll go ahead and do that I like this though oops oh, there's a lot of them here um, I like that this O is not connected to the that's the way the font is usually you would connect them but you don't have to because look at it's connected over to the outer ring which is kind of cool uh, just got to be really delicate before you glue it all right so let's do the uh, font right here and let's click here and I'm gonna do uh, I'll just do it doesn't really matter the size of the font and let's go Swanson you can put your name in here I want you guys to put your name and uh, we want to size it but I guess that's not super important yet uh, what we're gonna do is object convert to curves though so make sure that you if you need to select stuff make sure you're clicking this arrow right here and so click it and then say object convert to curves and that makes this curves you know that you'll because we can start to do this to it and say don't fill it with color click the line and say hairline and let's look at that and let's clean this up a little bit so this cuts as one nice clean straight name and I'm just going through once again if you don't remember how to move like I'm doing here like turn it into a hand and grab the paper uh, if I use the mouse wheel it goes out or it goes in if I push the mouse wheel and click it I can grab the page and move it it's very helpful to go a lot faster like the way I do it and there we go and uh, we can always click here and th that's pretty much it that should be good yeah and then let's check this out and here's where you want to align it either up or down or make this name bigger or smaller and what we want is we want this to touch over here we want to touch over here probably not too much so let's just shrink it a tad bit there we go I'm touching here and here and I think that should be good so let's go ahead and delete this and then delete that delete that these are two different thickness lines that's fine we can convert them all later and then delete that there we go look at that that's all one piece of wood now this is a piece this piece of wood is connecting to that piece of wood same here and let's do that over here let's delete that extra delete that and delete that there we go now it's all one piece of wood uh, what else do we want to add to this uh, I see there's a snowman and a tree that's really pretty I don't even know how to do that we'll just look for some snowflake or something like that um, so let's go ahead and do that now let's type in uh, snowman snowman and we'll call it SVG or there we go there's one I kind of like the one uh, that was used uh, here. I like that one. So let me look up snowman silhouette. See if we come up with anything better. Uh, that's a little bit closer to what I'm looking for. So I like that one. Uh, this might be the one they used. I'm not sure. I'll go ahead and use this one. Let's save image as. And it's a JPEG. Perfect. Snowman. Remember, it's of a WebP. We'll have to take a snippet. And then let's bring it in here. So we're going to go File, Import, and then Snowman. And click anywhere. And then we're going to go ahead and say, notice we can't do anything. It's not lines yet. It's just a photograph. We're going to trace it, though. Outline trace with line art. 
and hopefully this is easy. That looks pretty good, and that's good enough. So now you see we have the lines. We can put this here. We can get it bigger if you want. You gotta remember that these are gonna be very tiny pieces of wood and be very fragile. I want this in the center, not you know, not off centered like this. Um, and remember, I chose 12 inches, so I'm gonna put 12 inches. Oops, I thought I did put no, it's 14 inches. There we go. 14 was the center. And I'm gonna use the arrows just to go right here. And uh, I think that's good enough. I, I could sink them down a little bit more. And then we're going to go to paint and say don't fill it. And the pen, let's make it hairline. Let's click the delete tool. And let's go to town right here. There we go. And that looks good. Uh, what else does this one have? Uh, this, it has two trees. Okay, let's add some trees. I'll put uh, tr Christmas tree. So we can use that or this, whatever one you want. I kind of like this one actually. Save image as. And that's a JPEG, perfect. Save. And make sure you pay attention to where you're saving it. So it makes it a lot easier when you go over here and you go to file. Import, and we got to find it over here. But it's already in my downloads. And there we go. Now this is a photograph again, you can see right here. So we're going to go to trace, outline trace, line art. And it should, when it's all black, it usually does a really good job. See, put OK. And there we go. We're going to have to make this much smaller. And let's go no fill, pen, hairline. And this is going to have to be a lot smaller. And there wouldn't be anything wrong if you had this touch either. Uh, I like that because this little snowman hand will uh, will be stronger, you know. Um, but I think it, I feel like it needs to go down here more. And then I'm going to copy, paste. Be careful, it pastes right on top. Like I said, students will do that over and over again, and then uh, then then they'll um, totally miss. Uh, uh, that they have two or three, and then it'll cut the tree out two or three, four times. Uh, so there we go. Let's just try to make it look about like that other one. So let me move the arrows up. And I think that's good. I'm touching the hand on that side too. Now let's go to the delete tool. We've got a lot of work to do. Let's delete that. Delete, delete, delete. Delete, delete, delete. And delete that. Don't forget the finger here. Uh, there we go. Let's delete that. Delete this out. And delete that. And delete that. Um, and that's pretty much it. Now, if you want to do a snowflake, you can go ahead and do that. Add a big snowflake up here. Same way. But this is pretty much all there is. You can always check to make sure that this... You want to group this together, too, because you're going to be moving this around. You want to make sure it, does, it fits. If it doesn't fit like that, we can always uh, change the angle by like, I think uh, 45 degrees and see, it will fit in my box, you know, just lay it in there at an angle like that. So that's pretty much how to make a, uh, uh, this type of ornament uh, where you would paint this. Um, now, if you wanted a background, obviously I forgot to mention that. If you wanted to glue this onto a background, just copy this, copy, copy paste and then move this and just delete everything just delete everything i don't know why it's not deleting here but delete all this and just leave the outside and that's it